What is up guys, today we have a review of the S Pen features that you can use and maybe some of them you never heard of and you never use it but there are some uh, 7 user case scenarios that I want to show in this video. I have Galaxy S23 Ultra here with S Pen here. So basically let's start one by one with the simplest feature moving on with the most advanced feature. Okay, the first feature here is a camera control so you can click on your bottom and make a photos so let me change like this you see hand photo is made fingers you can see it here double click just reverse your camera from front to regular cameras you see one two double click let's try triple click okay so basically it's night side photo i guess let's okay triple click turn on night side let's try okay it's turn on turn off it's night side click and hold okay it's multiply photos if if you just click and hold you will get many photos 40 photos i just made with click and hold function so that's how it works actually here and that was the first usage of S Pen. When you hold it and move, you can also do some gestures, but it will be later on. Uh, okay, let's go to feature number two. You can control your music here in case you're in the headphones or you're far away from your phone. So basically you can just turn on some music here. All right, I will disable the music not to be uh, punished for copyright, but as you see here, so you have the command here when you press single press play pause double press play next also gesture up down previous and next so all of this available let's try it out so as you see pause here let's click once plane double tap actually no press and hold for what we'll do okay it's actually opening the camera when i press and hold Maybe in any app it works like this. When you press and hold, you open the camera. Okay, all the other gesture I actually almost not using, but let's try it out. Uh, what kind of gesture we have? Play next, play volume up. Let's try volume up. Okay, it's working. Down, up, actually working fine, working perfectly, all the gestures next one next one working nice and let's move on with feature number three is presentation or like slides you have the present feature here so when you one click you can actually check what you have single press next slide double press previous slide as you see it's working double press single press okay i have only two slides here double press single press working perfectly so in case you're using desk or any just you connect your phone to the uh, some screen you can use it as a slide uh, changer here it's very convenient so you can run your presentation just using the sync very small very tiny always with you and always charged doesn't consume that much energy and it's really convenient basically just very simple you hold in your hands and control your presentation really nice really good feature and actually let's move on with other features here uh, let's go to the main screen click okay click like this so basically what is interesting here is all these commands here so air actions you can use uh, as a remote control all the time your stylus of your phone so you can draw something you can just press it for long you can press it for short this is one button that do many things here as you see even zoom available so you have quite many uh, of these gestures that you're using in many of the apps uh, that are supported or majority of the apps are supported but maybe you'll have more features only with the building apps and uh, let's move on with feature uh, number uh, five which is uh, convert handwriting to the 
hand to the text. Actually, what I've got here, you can write, oh, not convenient, okay, let's remove it. Let's write again. For instance, Puma brand, so you can easily find it. Slash, I love it. Yes, you see it's working, it's converting the text very easily. You still also have some error commands, I guess. No error actions here. Uh, appear are some menus that you can use, but it's quite convenient to write in case you need it, like, right. And it's working perfectly. You can cross it, I guess. Okay, it's just selecting when you cross it. Also removing, yeah, cut. Basically, you can select, you can write here using handwriting with the stylus here. And it's one of the features that I'm also using from time to time. And let's go to feature number six, which is like, you can write in your calendar and make some remarks here. So, for instance, you have something important here. You can always circle it down using your stylus which is also quite convenient, press this button, you can select it or change the color as well. Also, you can draw, draw it this way to remove, but actually what you can do is just to select some important event here, write something like hi, meeting, for instance, and of course you can have a variety of choice here, how you can do it, just hold and press, okay, just press it, you have many colors, like really many of them, you can select any colors that you want, you can select anything to underline, like marker here, crayon, or any others, of course, I will just do like this, and remove it, okay, you can even move it as a one piece, delete it, Let's change as it was before. And actually it's quite convenient, different colors, different text you can write, and actually you can use it uh, anytime, any day, it's really convenient. And let's go to last but not least, is a hand uh, screen off memos. When you, when your screen is off and you just unlock it. So basically you can write and unlock screen, anything you want like make some notes. Actually, it's quite hard to handwrite <laughs> when you long time not do it, but still. Hi there. Uh, it's Galaxy S23 Ultra. Ah, okay, actually it's on a site. It's not really useful as you see. When you go here, it's not drawn anymore. So the, la the last thing that you draw is somewhere here. I think it's frame starts. But actually it's quite convenient. You can save them even not unlocking your screen. You can go down and up, you can pin it. Or of course you can always erase everything or just go back and discard the changes. So basically for main review, that's pretty much it. For all this time that we use the stylus here, let me unlock and check. I don't know whether it's battery status, battery status showing somewhere here. It's 100% still for 10 minutes that I'm using. Actually quite convenient and quite interesting features that you can use with Galaxy S23 Ultra. It's always with you, just remember it's very compact. You can you, uh, put it both sides. And in case you have some your own usage cases of the stylus, just leave it in the comments below. In case you still have some question, also put a comment, put the thumbs up and see you next time.